Saturday, 16th of June. And today we have breakfast. It's Matui breakfast. It's been hotel breakfast. Yeah, well, wow, look at that. So this is the Moscow Theatre. Imagine the contrasts in this country. <laughs> Yesterday we came by so many closed down factories and there. Uh, in the middle of this very modern looking city centre. Let's have a bit of a dentist checkup has to be done as well on these trips. Game is uh, being tended to there, so yeah. Lots of things that need to be done as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, look at that one. Oh, we're just making a move from a nice hostel here, around right the corner. So we can check into a hotel. So that was good here. Let's move around the corner. First real day in Yerevan, they have practical things. So I just got myself a new SIM card for the phone, our mini SIM card. That means I have data here while we're cycling around. So not the first thing to do. but. That's quite cheap really, £10 for 10 gigabytes, so that means I can go on the internet basically anywhere now in Armenia. So it's cheaper to do it that way, to buy a new SIM card than use the, the Hindish one. <laughs> that would be cost a lot of money, but uh, so that's that done. Let's uh, have a quick look around and then go back to the hotel. Oh, we've just been in Yerevan just one day now, um, one full day really. And the first thing you notice really is that uh, the women and the, the girls, they don't wear headscarves anymore. They all wear pretty modern, smart, trendy clothes, really. <laughs> That's quite a change compared to, uh, to Turkey. Only a, what a hundred kilometers or so from the Turkish border. But here, people are dressed much differently. Lots more Western franchises like uh, the Turkey Fried Chicken we've seen quite a few times. And, uh, different bars and cafes and where you can get coffee and then in Turkey we only ever saw tea. Coffee was really difficult to find and uh, it's, uh, yeah it's a very modern uh, very modern looking city really for the first impression. Cars here are much different to the ones we saw on the road. Completely different uh, atmosphere what we saw out in the countryside. Also the, the politics in uh, Yerevan at the moment is quite fascinating. The, uh, the president, he's, uh, he had a 10-year term which expired and uh, at the end of his 10-year term he dis decided to change the constitution to allow himself to be elected again as prime minister but uh, he only lasted six days and uh, then there was a peaceful revolution in this town just only a month ago so now they have a new uh, government and a new prime minister so that's a new era for politics now in Armenia. So this is the Holy Mother of God Church. It's the oldest remaining Catholic church in Yerevan. 800 years old, this church here. Yeah. So a very warm city. The temperature is fantastic at the moment here. Yeah. Even in the evenings it's nice and warm. So, yeah, quite a, a difference compared to Turkey a few days ago where it was pretty cold really. Yeah, it's really nice temperature. Now we're finished with practical stuff for today. SIM card, haircut, teeth cleaning, dentist, all this kind of stuff is done. All that's left now is for the most important thing, this is quite an important thing in our family, because Denmark are playing Peru tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so quite convenient, we're in Yerevan, where the whole town is football crazy. Yeah. So that is extremely lucky because we just can't plan to be anywhere on a specific date, so that is very lucky. Hmm. Yeah. It was very lucky, it's Peru and Denmark, it can just be Denmark and Australia or something. Yeah, that's yeah. very funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, tonight is nothing to do with biking or sightseeing. I'll hand you over to Jamie, who likes football. Yes. And he'll tell you what happens in Yerevan when Denmark play Peru. <laughs> <laughs> One difference in this town compared to Turkey is that actually so far, quite a lot of people, they talk English. Um, and speak English and understand English. And the reason I say that is because it's two different things. Because in Turkey, some people could speak English, but when you ask them a question, they went completely blank and didn't understand a word of what we were saying. But here they understand, they reply, they speak. So, yeah, 
that's a difference. There wasn't many people, many people in Turkey that could speak English really, but uh, we managed anyway. Google Translate. But, uh, the Turkish people they are very inquisitive. They like to ask questions and find out where we are and uh, what we're doing. I don't do that so much here yet, but uh, but seem friendly enough anyway. Seem friendly people. Very helpful. So. Lots of these small bars all over the town here. You can see Iceland's playing Argentina with it. <laughs> Who is it, Jamie? It was Argentina and Iceland. Wow. You just see here, this is the port to the entrance to uh, the World Cup uh, here in uh, Yaren. In, uh, and now we are in the big city in Armenia, the big city in Kabul city in Armenia. Bars everywhere watching football. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Freedom Square on a Saturday evening. Iceland and Argentina and the stream are right there. Dream evening for Jamie here to sit and watch TV while he eats his dinner. He was asking the young girl in the youth hostel this morning uh, a bit about Armenia because on the train here to the capital uh, we saw a lot of closed down factories and neglected buildings and little villages without much life. And we asked her what happened, and it was as we supposed um, back from when Armenia was part of the Soviet Union. The factories was uh, working, producing stuff, and then Armenia got the independence, and then a bit by bit it all closed down. And nothing is owned by Armenia. I think she said the electricity company is owned by France, and so on. Um, and then also there was a big earthquake in 1988 and they're actually still suffering from that. There's still people that's waiting to have a new house after that. They live in an old uh, train, um, what's it called? Cars, iron houses they call them. Still waiting so many years later for a new house. Um, and she also told that the government has chose to invest money in Yerevan and we can see that because it's a lot of new buildings and I think here and very modern but they have forgotten about the countryside it's just neglected all the little villages unfortunately so it's a it's a bit hard for them let's hope that that things will get better for the people in the villages because it was so sad to see all the closed down factories now the are singing this song national anthem So Meta. Meta's gonna sing at the top of her voice. <laughs> <isn't she? laughs> so here in Yerevan, the Danish national anthem. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit funny to see <laughs> here in the middle of Armenia. So let's go and see the battle <laughs> between Denmark and Peru. Now there are penalty to Peru, so let's see how uh, maybe Peru are making a goal now. <laughs> 45 minutes, I think, and nothing really happened yet. Still 0 0. Good game though. Okay, what's going to happen? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Big mistake. 
Okay, just falling dark here now in Yerevan as the second half is underway. Let's see what happens now. I think them might might have scored. <laughs> Denmark 1-0 <laughs> okay. We're still enjoying the warm night here There's not many warm, not many warm nights we have had on this trip no, it's really It's usually cold by that yeah, not here. Still, people are still walking around in t-shirts and... Uh... Now there are five minutes to go. Yeah. Okay. That was the end of that excitement. What do you say about that then? Enjoy that? Good place to watch cookies. Good place to watch cookies. Party time here in Yerevan. <laughs> now this is the way you watch the World Cup. Watch uh, the World Cup here by Swan Lake in Freedom Square here in Yerevan, Yerevan in Armenia. Yeah. So and, uh, I would say it's very funny to be here. There are many people that, that are here, and uh, yeah, it's very funny. And the uh, disco and high music and everything. That oh, was good to see. Yeah. We haven't seen so much life for a long time. No. We're probably not going to see so much life for a long time again. No, but that uh, was really nice. That was really good. Yeah, yeah really good to see. Uh, how people watch football in this part of the world. So that was great. That was interesting. Yeah. Really nice evening. How we've gone to bed. Good place to good place to watch football. We're actually pretty close to Russia, so mm -hmm. that's maybe why they're so much into it here. So, okay, that was it. We'll go back and have a sleep now. <laughs> Tomorrow's a real resting day. We haven't got too much planned. Just gonna have a real rest tomorrow, I think. And then uh, Monday we have to pick up my uh, visa because the. Embassy is open on Monday, it's not open in the weekend, so tomorrow's a resting day. Monday we'll get back to work and get the visa. Okay, I see think you. I'm staying here in Yerevan for the next 10 days, maybe working in the youth hostel or <laughs> cleaning in the hotel or something like that, just to stay here for a bit and then take uh, an old truck down to the border of Iran just to have a break here. Yeah, it's nice here. Okay, that was it. We'll. Uh, have another day here tomorrow. So now we're going home, so bye bye, let's go and see you tomorrow.